to a rostrum. This wonderful specimen is the equivalent of the animal kingdom's most elaborate spork. Uh, it's an incredible bit of weaponry, bit of armature, and it belongs to the sawfish. So the sawfish is a, is a name that broadly refers to the genus Pristis. So there's about five different species within that of sawfish, and all of which they're endangered or critically endangered. Um, but they all have these incredible weapons on the front of their faces. And for a very long time, scientists have thought that this is what they're strictly for as a weapon. But we now know that this isn't true. And ever since these animals have existed, so we're talking back in the Crustaceous period, you know, 66 plus million years ago, they have remained largely unchanged and, and they remained with these amazing structures. So what are you actually looking at? Sawfish belong to your class elasmobranchs, so that's your cartilaginous fish. So your sharks, your rays and your skates, which means that this, what you're looking at, is not actually bone, but instead it's cartilage. And when you see it here, you think, oh, they kind of look like lots of teeth, but actually they're modified scales. And we've learned that these are actually really important in helping modify their prey. So what I mean by that is when they find their prey, they will actually manipulate it by moving it really fast with the water or actually spiking their prey in order for them to eat. Because when you look at the bottom of a sawfish, you'll actually see their mouth is underneath. So, and uh, all along here, you'll also have lots of little dots. So this essentially is a massive sensory organ. So they're covered in ampullae of Lorenzini. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a great way of being able to detect their prey uh, by detecting these electrical impulses in the water. Thanks for watching Zoo Show Tell. Stay tuned for our next episode.